For months, Voyager won a spacecraft that dates back to before the internet itself had gone completely silent. 15 billion miles from Earth. No signal, no data, just silence. A silence so deep, so absolute, it felt like the universe itself had drawn a curtain. Scientists feared the worst. Had our furthest explorer finally died in the dark? And then, just as hope was flickering out, a whisper returned. But it wasn't a normal update. It wasn't a system reboot or a status check. What Voyager 1 sent back shattered the illusion we'd always clung to that the empty space beyond the sun was just that, a void. Because what Voyager revealed wasn't emptiness. It was structure, movement, pressure, boundaries. It had reached the other side. However, it discovered nothing like what anyone expected. Keep watching because the truth that Voyager is finding out about the interstellar medium is more awe-inspiring and more frightening than fiction ever dared to suggest. In 2012, Voyager 1 reached the heliopause. It became the first human-made object to truly leave the sun's protective bubble. Many believed it would drift into silence, then darkness, and then nothingness. Stillness. But in April 2024, after months of garbled transmissions, Voyager came back online. And what it started sending shook the foundations of astrophysics. Space beyond the heliopause isn't quiet. It's humming. A low-frequency oscillation steady and rhythmic fills the void like the pulse of a living thing. The plasma wave instrument on Voyager detected a kind of ambient energy whispering through the interstellar medium. However, it wasn't just the hum. The spacecraft also measured density spikes bursts of pressure like shockwaves left behind by ancient supernovae. It's as if Voyager was passing through layers of memory zones in space shaped by stellar deaths that happened thousands, maybe millions of years ago. Interstellar space isn't an empty corridor. It's a turbulent sea of invisible currents and echoes. And Voyager, our tiny sailboat navigating blind through weather we never even knew existed. As Voyager pushed deeper, its instruments began painting an image no telescope ever could, a three-dimensional structure hidden in the dark. Using its magnetometer, it detected sharp misalignments in the galactic magnetic field violently twisting against the sun's field, like two tectonic plates grinding together. This was not arbitrary. It was pattern, structure, the magnetic turbulence Voyager recorded hinted at something more that the galaxy itself might have a magnetic skeleton, vast filaments of force shaping or matter flows, and where it doesn't. Some regions deflect cosmic rays. Others funnel them in streams radiation rivers in the dark. Voyager found it had crossed one such threshold a sharp spike in high energy particles, accelerated by distant black holes and supernovae slamming into the probe at near light speed. Now call interstellar weather. Using its plasma wave instruments, Voyager has recorded sudden changes in temperature, density, and energy levels. It's as though it's flying through pockets of invisible mist, each with its own climate. These aren't chaotic fluctuations. They're structured, layered, defined. Voyager has detected distinct boundaries between interstellar cloudlets small, dense concentrations of gas and plasma likely shaped by long dead stars. Some contain higher magnetic pressure, others more radiation, and some exhibit low frequency hums like a distant echo of thunder. In Earth terms, this would be like locating ocean currents in what we assumed was desert. And as Voyager keeps sailing forward, it confirms that the galaxy is not a static map. It's breathing, shifting, alive. Voyager's voyage through the galactic. It has met it face to face, in the suburbs using what might be one of the galaxy's most mysterious features the local bubble is not a sci-fi story. It's an enormous, invisible cavity in space, spanning hundreds of light years, likely formed by a succession of supernovae millions of years ago. Voyager's readings suggest it's now mapping the bubble's outer edges, crossing zones where density changes abruptly and magnetic patterns distort like funhouse mirrors. These boundaries aren't just scientific curiosities. They are scars cosmic relics of violence written in the plasma and dust that now cradles our solar system. 
Some researchers believe that within these zones, Voyager is hearing the echo of those ancient explosions not just metaphorically, but literally in the form of charged particles and magnetic shock waves that have taken thousands of years to get to this point. These are the bones of stellar death and they shape the space around us. Voyager is moving through a graveyard of stars and with each reading, it is decoding the galaxy's forgotten past. What it's mapping now could change how we trace the lineage of everything from the formation of stars to the path of our solar system itself. Among the most eerie revelations of Voyager's recent data is the realization that silence does not exist out there. Our telescopes cannot see anything, but Voyager hears them in these areas. Its plasma wave sensors have picked up continuous low-frequency sound steady oscillations that never cease. Some of these frequencies seem to vary slightly as the spacecraft moves as if it's entering new zones of vibration. These aren't radioactive and neither are they cosmic background noise. They're more like the resonance of the interstellar medium itself, a kind of symphony being played through plasma and magnetic field clouds. It's a form of cosmic weather, perhaps, or a galactic heartbeat. Now, some scientists believe this hum could be a signature of how the galaxy organizes itself a byproduct of magnetic or gravitational turbulence. But others are more cautious. They wonder if this persistent oscillation might be something we don't yet have the language to describe something akin to natural resonance, or worse, something completely unnatural. Whatever it is, Voyager is not just detecting it. It's moving through it part of the song now and we back on Earth are hearing it for the first time. Voyager's data is transforming how we see the galaxy not as a flat map of stars, but as a living terrain with mountains and valleys made not of rock, but of radiation and force. Each variation in cosmic ray intensity, each shift in particle density, each twist in the magnetic field, these are not random spikes. They're landmarks. Voyager's measurements are helping scientists sketch what might be the first real topography of interstellar space. Imagine being able to chart highlands of dangerous radiation and valleys where cosmic rays flow more gently, or walls where ancient supernovae piled matter into invisible ridges. This isn't science fiction. It's frontier cartography, and Voyager is the scout. In addition, these unnoticed characteristics go beyond hazards. They may also be pathways. Corridors of low radiation could guide future interstellar probes safely between stars, or they may display where stars and matter accumulate to be born. We're beginning to understand that space isn't just a backdrop. It's an active, sculpted landscape. And what Voyager is revealing now could redefine how we explore, how we travel, and ultimately, how we sustain our existence in the galaxy. Voyager 1 was launched not to find life, not to conquer planets, but to explore quietly, patiently, faithfully. It was humanity's whisper into the void, a machine sent further than any other carrying nothing more than questions and the reverberation of our existence. But what it's finding now is more than just data. It's a revelation. Space is anything but the empty silence we imagined. It's layered. It's structured. It has breath. It remembers. And Voyager Aging, half-deaf, and using only technology from the 1970s is the bravest thing we've ever built, brave enough to cross that line and keep reporting back. Its discoveries are peeling back the illusion that we ever truly understood where we lived. The protective bubble of our heliosphere isn't just a cosmic boundary. It's a cradle, a cocoon. And beyond it lies an environment shaped by ancient, invisible currents, explosions, and magnetic scars that long dead stars left behind. What Voyager has found isn't fantasy. It's not alien ships or wormholes. It's something more tangible and possibly more terrifying. It's the realization that we've always lived in a fragile oasis, floating in a sea far more violent, more dynamic, and more intricate than we ever imagined. Every pulse Voyager hears, every variation and filament it maps, decodes, and builds up to a single goal, truth. We were never meant to stop at the edge of our solar system. We were meant to reach further, to listen deeper in order to comprehend that space is not a void to cross, but a story to read. 
and right now, Voyager is on the first page of the best chapter ever written. Therefore, the next time you look upward at the night sky and see nothing but stars, keep in mind that 15 billion miles away, a golden-plated messenger is still drifting, still listening, still mapping the galaxy's undiscovered skeleton. And maybe, just maybe, it's reminding us that the real frontier was never out there. It was always our need to understand. If you've made it this far, then you're not just curious. You're one of the few who truly pays attention when the universe whispers. So, tell us in the comments, what do you think Voyager 1 will find next out there? Beyond the maps, beyond the models, beyond everything we believe to be known. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications because this isn't just another space story. It's the beginning of a much deeper one. And trust me, you'll want to be here when the next signal comes in.